guys bound on the perfume down back at you with another fragrance video if you like fragrance if you love smelling good if you love smelling good go ahead like subscribe join my perfume mafia you can also hit me up on instagram it's value on the perfume down on there and let's get into this video so i had you guys vote on my instagram and you dropped it in the comments of my previous video where i did choosing a scent for different tv characters or just different fictional characters in general so last time i did sex in the city you can check that out it's going to be somewhere up here linked um but in the comments you guys really expressed that you wanted me to choose it for the cast of girlfriends now in my mind girlfriends was the same as sex in the city just with women of color and it was pretty much i think they were all african-american two biracial girls black and white so yeah pretty much the same premise for women not all were single yeah not all were single but we'll go through what i know about the characters in a little bit um but yeah so pretty much the same thing for women it's all about friendship love career finding yourself as a modern woman this series i think debuted i want to say in the 2000s and I think Sex and City was maybe in the 90s. So it came a little bit after. And it was actually created by Kelsey Grammer. Yes, the Kelsey Grammer. So that's very interesting. Um, and then, what do I want to say? What, which one do I want to start with? I feel like I want to start with, let's start with Maya, okay? So Maya, she was the, you got to be quiet, man. Shh. Maya was the working class. Okay, yeah, there was two that were kind of like, you know, not rich. Everyone else on the show was pretty affluent. But Maya was working class. She was very petite. She was, I think, the only married one on the show. On the show, she goes through woes with her marriage. And she's actually the secretary for her friend, which is Joan, played by Tracy Ellis Ross. But I believe the actress' real name is Golden Brooks. And she played Maya on the show. So when I was thinking about her fragrance, I was like, what do I think Maya would smell like? And I just kind of felt like she would have something that's a little bit sweet for some reason. I feel like she would kind of want to smell sweet for some reason. I was just picking up that vibe from her character. Now, she was extremely frugal. I felt like she was extremely frugal. So I wanted to choose something that was also very um, affordable and cost-friendly and widely accessible. So... With those things in mind, there's two things that came to me that I think that is something that Maya would rock. Now, the first thing I think that she would rock is a fragrance oil. Like, seriously, dude. I feel like she would rock a fragrance oil. Like, it doesn't have to specifically be this one, but I feel like she's the type of girl that goes into the shops and gets the oils that smell not very, like, earthy herbal type oils. Not essential oils, but, like, the oils that smell similar to the designer fragrances, um, to the niche fragrances, but you get it at a really good cost. And one that I have right here is from Vision That Body Oils and Incense. And they're based in Detroit, Michigan, but you can order online. I've talked about them before. Really good performance. This one's Lost Cherry, and it literally smells like a big red or cherry. Oh, cherry bubblegum. I was kind of rough with it right there. I hurt a little bit. I need to relax. Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, so you can order online from them. But I mean, their oil smelled exact on. Like, it smells dead on to the actual Tom Ford Lost Cherry. But I feel like this is something that Maya would rock. I could just totally see her with a bag full of oils or going there every month and reading up on the favorite oils that she wants. Because you get a good deal on it. It's a good bang for your buck. And it's something that actually lasts. And you're going to smell a little bit sweet. Now, if it's not that, I figured that she would rock something that's again widely accessible so I, I chose a Victoria's Secret scent and again it doesn't have to be this exact one but this one I really like I picked it up over the holiday season just a nice fruity fresh fragrance this is just a kiss yeah fruity fresh fragrance I feel like she wouldn't be very particular when it came to her fragrance just as long as it's something that's mass appealing that's what I get from her so those are the scents that I choose for Miss Maya from Girlfriends, okay? And then feel free to comment along. Let me know if you think I have it completely wrong or if you think I um, have it pretty similar to what you would imagine these characters would smell like also. Okay, all right, the next one that we have, we're going to do Miss Lynn, child. Yeah, let's do Miss Lynn. So for Lynn, I really wanted to choose something that really captures her essence. So Lynn on the show, she's the smartest, kind of. She has a ditzy persona, she's the poet, 
she's like the activist all natural type chick i want to say like vegan that kind of thing she's tatty she has a rocker persona but she's also a doctor i think she has a doctor in psychology or sociology or something like one of those degrees uh, but she doesn't use it. I think she works a lot of odd gigs and she's kind of like always claiming that she's broke. She's that kind of girl. Uh, but with her persona, I wanted something that's a little bit mysterious, very mystical to really capture her essence of being a wild child, gone with the wind, um, tatted rocker kind of a chick. So with that one, I thought that she would really like something that is along those lines. So I chose Dior Poison. Okay, I chose Dior Poison. I thought she would really like this this one because it's so smoky. Um, it's very dark, very like, yeah, it's very dark and almost like very alluring and kind of wicked. And she kind of seems like she would be the type of person that just loves Halloween. And this scent just really rocks with Halloween for me. Um, but it also has like a little bit of sweet femininity because I also saw on the show that she loves to wear a dress, even if it is with combat boots. So yeah, that's what I chose for Miss Lynn. Something that's really deep and dark and kind of smoky, kind of a little bit spicy, but still has that sweetness. And that is Dior Poison. So yeah, the more I have this fragrance, the more it really grows in me and that I actually like it. I started off not liking this thing at all. But now I'm warming up to her, and that's actually going to be another video, okay? Okay, let's do the next one. The next one that I want to do is Miss Joan. So Joan, what is she, what business does she have? I think Realty. She does, uh, she's a real estate agent, right? Eventually she gets married on the show to this doctor. She's an interracial relationship. I think he's Jewish, um, but she's all about, she wants the man to cater to her. She's the prize. She's very vain, very narcissistic. She's all about a designer purse, designer closet. Only the best for Miss Joan. Oh, I'm sorry, not Joan. Dude, Tony Childs. I'm so sorry. Tony Childs is who I'm talking about. She's the one that's a real estate agent. She's the one that's married to the Jewish doctor, I believe, in the interracial relationship. Um, very beautiful, very tall, very skinny. But yeah, that's Tony Childs, okay? That's what I'm talking about. I hope I said the right thing. This one is Lynn, and then um, this one is Maya, okay? Yeah, Tony Childs, she only wants the best things in life. If it ain't Chanel, Gucci, Louis Prada, it is not for her. She never goes to a discount spot at all, and she is the bougiest of them all, okay? So, I thought I would get her a scent that's also, like, super sexy. I feel like her style on the show is, like, super sexy very feminine very womanly uh, and i thought that this is also perfect for the time because this designer was really big during that time in the 2000s used to always see him with diddy and everything and he's actually my birthday twin he's my birthday twin so the person i'm talking about is narcisco rodriguez yeah i could totally see her yeah i could totally see her so this is narcisco rodriguez this is uh pudre and this is like a very powdery musky scent and it's just very sexy and I feel like her style is always so elegant, very pared down. Um, a lot of classic but updated pieces. So she would wear like a all black dress. It's very slinky, but it's like a halter top or something. New spins on classic pieces. And I feel like that's what this fragrance is. A new spin on a classic musky fragrance. And I really love it. And I just really feel like that modern, simple elegance is totally her style and would totally fit with this fragrance. So yeah, that's what I would choose for Miss Tony Child's Realty, okay? Yeah, this one is a really good one. I actually love this one. I think it's so, it just smells like attraction in a freaking bottle. I love it. Can't wait to rock it. I think it's really good for summer, spring weather. So I can't wait to rock that one. Actually, I rocked some similar scents from the same brand when I was in uh, Columbia and those performed wonderfully in very warm weather. So can't wait to wear that one again. The next one that we have is going to be for Miss Joan, okay? Now wait, what's her name on the show? I feel really bad, dude. I can't remember her name on the show. Is it Joan? Yes, her name is Joan, but her real name is Tracy Ellis Ross, and her mother, of course, is the, the Diana Ross, okay? For her, you know, she was a very interesting character, okay? So she was a high-rank lawyer. She was a high-rank lawyer 
I think she was partner at her firm on the show, but she was very intelligent, um, had a lot of money, a lot of assets going for her. I think she was single on the show. Um, of course, she had like the funny persona. She was a little bit quirky, very stylish. Um, wow, very stylish, but that was my Bluetooth. <laughs> very stylish, but uh, I feel like she would, She's the kind of person that I feel like would still thrift or go to a consignment shop just because she would want to find something that's a little bit different and very unique. What do I have on? Oh, it's that Tom Ford. Strong, girl. Wow, that oil. Ooh, it smells really good. Anyways. Yeah, Vision That Body Oils. Very strong. Really like them. But anyway, so going back to Joan, I really feel like she would go consignment shopping. She would go thrift shopping just because she wants to find something that's really unique. Even though she had plenty of zone, plenty of dough to go buy whatever she wanted, okay? So the fragrance that I chose for her is actually one of the first fragrances I've ever bought in my life because it really embodies that. Still professional. It's very versatile, very wearable, very unique, um, but a floral fragrance. So this is Midnight Fleur by Nest Fragrances. Very green floral fragrance. Very fresh, but like kind of with a hint, kind of with a hint of sweet. But I don't even know if they still sell this one. This is by Nest Fragrances. Um, they used to be sold in Sephora. I don't know if they still are. I, like seriously, I, I was obsessed with them at one point. Um, but yeah, it's my favorite fragrance from them, Midnight Fleur. Yeah, very green, very floral, a little bit sweet. Um, and just like something very eclectic about it. Very unique. But yeah, that's what I choose for Miss Joan, the lawyer, okay? Now the next one that I chose is going to be, this one's really funny for me because with William, he was the he was the guy that always hung around all the girls. He was always with the girls. He was not gay. He had plenty of love interests on his own. He may have had some mama issues, but he definitely liked the women, okay? With William, he wasn't particularly stylish. Yes, he had a lot of money. He was a high-ranking lawyer as well at the same firm as Joan. However, he wasn't particularly stylish. He wasn't extremely... I don't know. People wouldn't say on his on the show they wouldn't say that he's the most attractive guy because his whole thing is supposed to be like goofy and undesirable and that's how they painted him so for that reason i always felt like he needed a woman to like dress him or to like spruce him up and i felt like if he went cologne shopping he just wouldn't know what to get and he would just walk out of there with a the dud so that's why i got him this i thought that he would walk out of there with gucci memoir because he wouldn't even take the time to smell it he's just like i need a cologne and he would walk out of there with something that most men i don't even think they freaking like and it definitely doesn't work with his persona but this is a very herbal medicinal chamomile lavender scent i was actually with my friend over the weekend and he was smelled this or is it like yeah it was over the weekend my friend was at the store and he smelled this fragrance and he was like oh he was like gross but i think he just doesn't also like lavender because he smelled the Givenchy gentleman and that one also has a prominent lavender note and he was like get it out of here but yeah this one most men wouldn't like and i feel like i feel like william would just grab something because he he knows the name gucci and he thinks it'll be good but then later him and his girl will go back to the store and get something that he actually likes so that's how i feel about the cast what do you think did i hit the nail on the head what do you think did i come close uh would you choose something else for them what do you think? Let me know. Comment below. And I'll catch you guys. Peace.